So the other week, I bought a new Windows laptop. How comes? I I was I was curious whether it's been a few years since I've really like used Windows heavily, and I was curious what the the front end workflow and the command line workflow look like there. So what what does the front end um, tooling system look like now? So the command line workflow, there's the front end tooling workflow isn't isn't massively different, but to to get your command line workflow on par these days still requires a little bit of work. So. What I was used to when I played with Windows a few years ago was like the Windows prompt, which is like this really very, very basic update to the DOS prompt. Mm. Um, always seemed like better for just managing files than anything yeah, it super always serious. Yeah, just feel like I was exploring my hard drive and that yeah. was about it. And I did play with utilities there and stuff, but um, Microsoft then did PowerShell, which is like way better and designed for automation, had much better support for objects and variables and had these really rich prompts for, for commandlets. Um, but it comes with support for auto-completion right out of the box. Yeah. So I kind of, exp I, that's what I want from a It's kind of things that you shell. can take for granted with things like OS X and Linux, like their terminals just come with all that stuff. It's yeah. just stock. Yeah, and so another thing that we, we commonly do on Mac is we, we have like dot files set up with all of our aliases. And you can create your own PowerShell profile that's got the same type of stuff set up. Okay. So you can like create aliases for you know, Sublime Text, so Subl or ST will go and fire off Sublime. Um, you can, so you can create like system level aliases, you can use DOS key as well, which is uh, another um, utility for just creating aliases. But PowerShell's great, it doesn't, doesn't quite get you all the way, there's still a few things missing. So. Yeah. Like, um, uh, another tool that I use is Kanemu, which is a console emulator, and it's got support for multiple tabs. Nice. So you've got multiple tabs in there. You can do uh, vertical tab splitting as well and all sorts of other layout. That's quite nice. Configs. So that's, that's pretty nice. But it, again, it still feels like you're... T it, it's just things that you, I've grown to expect, I guess, or yeah. want. Like, it's one of those things. If it was removed from me, I'd probably instantly just be like, please, can I have the tabs back now? Yeah. 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 So I use Kanemu, um, but it, there's still other things missing. So the tool that I mostly use these days is Commander, and Commander is awesome. Why so like, is it awesome? Because I said so. Um, <laughs> it's, it's awesome. It's awesome because it's like a power utility with all of this stuff. So it's got Kanemu, it's got PowerShell, it's using all that stuff. Oh, so it's like a group of all the best yes. things just in one bundle. Exactly. Nice. It's also got Clink, which is basically it's the Windows shell combined with Readline, which is a, a GNU library for working with like Bash. Gives you better auto completion. Gives you history search and Bash utilities. Nice. Really nice. Um, and my favorite thing about Commander is the integration that you can set up with other apps. So something I've tried to do over the last couple of years with Sublime is try to get like my editor on screen with my command line, just like just somewhere built else in. in the UI, yeah. And none of the integrations I've ever seen have looked half decent. Just... Yeah, I tried one plugin on Atom, and it was just it was sort of looked like my terminal, but yep. it wasn't quite, and it was a bit clunky. Yep. Yeah. So this just adds it in. Yeah, it just adds it in. You have like a single window, drag it around. You've got your command line at the top. You've got your complete editor window at the bottom. And nice. it's completely configurable. So like you can, you can tell it to take up how much of the command line window you want. You can uh, script that. Okay, yep. It's kind of neat. So you've got that. Um, Commander also encourages you to install PoshKit. Okay. Which is a set of utilities on top of Git. So if I go and I clone, um, you know, a project on GitHub and I, you know I CD into it, I can like make some make some uh, make some edits and do Git and type in a command like so Git C, and then I can tab through all the options like commit and all that other stuff. Nice. It's just, it's just sort of nice, nice contextual auto completion. Nice little bit of sugar place. on top. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, what do you what do you think about uh, package managers? Could you? Uh, you use another one in your life? No, like I've got apt get on Linux and that that to me just makes total sense. Homebrew is the closest thing I think on Mac that I have, but then it has its own weird oddities on my machines normally. I'm I'm hearing that you want another package manager. You're hearing me wrong. So you fine. want another package manager. Uh, and Windows has got one. Okay. It's called it's it's called Chocolatey. It just it doesn't sound like a package manager, but fine. Just how is chocolate? Is it good? Chocolate is decent. You you're using you're using Adam. You've got your like your hipster My sticker. Over there. sticker you got yeah, your, yeah, you got your sticker. So you can do like Chaco install Adam. Just install it. Gives you you know an update progress bar and your command line and everything. To be fair, with things like that, the minute you start getting used to it, it's really really nice. Yeah. Like I. 
I don't know, it's nice not having to go to a website, download the thing, open up the AC, and then do all the other stuff. So that's nice. Does it update as well? I think so. Nice. 